What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're looking at the One Piece Day celebration, all of the news that was talked about really within the live stream and you know we were really wondering and waiting to see whether or not we we're going to get any information regarding One Piece Day or Film Red celebration stuff for One Piece Treasure Cruise and we actually did get it. It's kind of funny because we're kind of expecting maybe they're just going to reveal the new Zora and Sanji. You can go pull them on the Sugo Fest. But no, they actually said straight up that we are getting Film Red characters. They announced them. And here is the informational... Uh image that we have it's not really much to go off of right now but you can see that this artwork right here is the luffy character that we actually already have access to but we have a bunch of silhouettes of course my webcam is in the way so i just moved myself out the way so you guys can see what the hell this screenshot is actually all about but we have um a couple of straw hat characters i mean we say a couple of them it's the all of the straw hat characters now obviously luffy is free to play but we have uh this sanji this is sanji down the bottom this is the exact same silhouette that is the treasure map character coming up very very soon we have chopper zoro nami usopp jimbe frankie robin and brooke so all of those are going to be arriving sometime within the next month or two we don't know the exact release time frame of each of these characters and of course we cannot forget the main silhouette in the front which is indeed uta so Uta is coming to Treasure Cruise. The only real question is, is are these characters that we're seeing, are they all going to be free to play? Are they going to be summonable? It's a little hard to say. I would say right now that Uta is most likely a Sugo Fest exclusive. Is she going to be a Super Sugo Fest exclusive? We don't know. I think it would be awesome if they did do that because if we think about it right, the anniversary was in May and the next big celebratory event that we can really think of is going to be November or September. Typically, they always have a really big celebration in September and then November is like the 0.5 anniversary. Um, so we can expect September or November to probably have a Super Sugo Fest. So I think that if, if they do end up making November a Super Sugo Fest, then a Super Sugo Fest right now for the film celebration would make also a lot of sense. However, if they are planning to make September a Super Sugo Fest, then potentially they might hold off Uta until that point. Uh, which means that we might not get, you know, the, the movie-based legends, or maybe we'll get multiple batches of movie-based legends. So long as the Straw Hat characters are straying away from the legend slot, I'll be completely fine with that. I think it would be a good idea to dedicate legend slots for the film to non-Straw Hats, because Straw Hats already get enough love as it is. So giving it to characters like Uta, potentially Gordon if he has some kind of, uh, you know, role to play in the film, potentially Shanks, we don't really know what's going on Regarding that, I mean, V2 Shanks might get a super evolution in the celebration and become the film Shanks from Film Red. That is most definitely possible. And remember that this free-to-play Luffy right here, he's actually an int character. He's a rainbow captain, but he is int. He's a super type int character. So I would think that because he is int, that Uta probably will be int as well. That's just my random guess. But if they do that and then they have V2 Shanks get a super evolution who's also int, that would also make a lot of sense. Again, there's a there's really not a lot of information to go off of here, but you know, we can have a look at the previous celebrations, what happened with Stampede. So when Stampede was first coming out, um, there was obviously Legend Bullet, and Bullet debuted with a couple of Straw Hat characters. It was the Nico Robin, it was the Brook, and it was also the Chopper character. Those all debuted with Bullet on a treasure map Sugo Fest. And then you also had this raid event where you could get your hands on um, all of the supernovas as the like fake dual units and there was a foxy wapple i don't remember exactly where he was accessible he was probably in the raid as well they also had the arena trafalgar law character so obviously they have you know a little bit of free to play a little bit of summonable it's just a matter of figuring out which characters are going to be what and i think that the free to play units that are coming in the celebration are likely going to be pretty good trafalgar law on release was a good character you had Treasure Map Smoker, who also was a very good character on release. And then they had the Sanji character, which was like a prize for depending on how how you ranked in the Treasure Map, you got a certain amount of copies to feed into him to potentially rainbow him. 
They had a Fortnite back then. Uh, there's obviously no Fortnites anymore, but these units are probably going to be like point farming events or something like that. Um, then you had like another event with Fujitora. You had another event with Rob Lucci. Lucci was a clash. Then you had the secondary batch, which brought along Stampede Luffy. And with the release of the Stampede Luffy legend came along the super evolution of Douglas Bullet. So that's a, another way they could go about it. They could re release Uta as a pure six star form initially and then super evolve her later on. They, they did that obviously with Legend Yamato and you know that was somewhat successful. I know some people have mixed opinions on making Yamato a six star character which then super evolves pretty much immediately as most people wanted to get multiple copies because the character was like a side graded version. So if they end up doing that in the same vein as Yamato, I think a lot of people would be kind of upset, but depending on how the film kind of goes, it's a little hard to understand and comprehend how these characters are going to work, as we don't know what these characters are, we don't know their story, we don't know their abilities, it's a little bit hard to predict what their, you know, in-game effects or what their in-game structure of the character is going to be like. But along with Stampede Luffy, you had uh, Zoro and Nami, and there was also the other uh, Frankie, and it's interesting as well is that, you know, with the two movie legends for stampede it was a big celebration at the time that had bullet and stampede luffy and they made these two batches work completely differently from each other in the fact that uh douglas bullet was boosting strength quick and int and then they made stampede luffy boost strength dex and psi so they brought along these two different batches and they don't really work together all that well uh and so it could they could also do that where they have like multiple movie batches and they just work completely independently from each other it could also be very possible uh this usopp i don't remember where the stampede usopp came from i can't actually remember that but then douglas bullet with the super evolution of course kizuna boa hancock a secondary clash in sabo so they had two different clashes for these units here in stampede and then of course later on they had like a re-release of stampede where they brought along crocodile and buggy as separate rare recruit characters and they're both very good even to today's standards and then buena festa which was obviously a support character you got for free by completing one of those ranking events with uh the crocodile and the buggy again there's lots of different scenarios they could go with and obviously the content cycle of when stampede was out is a lot different from what it is now obviously we have point farming events we have treasure map kizuna they could throw in raid bosses if they want to, uh, arenas as well instead of coliseums, which are pretty much the same thing. But uh, as long as they have multiple events kind of like this, because there were so many different events for Stampede, you had like the separate raid here for the Supernovas, you had the arena, obviously Treasure Map Sugo Fest, the Treasure Map itself, a Fortnite Island. I don't remember, I think this was like a, you know, you farm the pistols or the blades for, for Isho, then another clash, a separate batch, then you had uh, the Kizuna, another clash, and then a ranking event as well. They could go a lot of different ways. They could potentially introduce something like Pirate Rumble, for example, where you can get a free-to-play character in Pirate Rumble. They could go with Grand Voyage. That would be kind of crazy if, you know, potentially when the next Grand Voyage update comes out, which might, like, conclude the whole movie celebration if they have like a huge boss and then maybe you get like a ticket to get a free character or you get like a free character for beating the event something along those lines i think would be pretty fascinating so i think we'll leave it at that but as you guys can understand there's lots going on and obviously whenever we get information regarding one piece film red in one piece treasure cruise i'll give you guys a video discussing all of the news because i am super excited for this celebration as i think many of you guys are out there as well that's going to wrap it up for me thank you so much for watching and if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video